Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another crime video for you all today. Now, this is continuation of the list we've been doing for the last couple days, minus the other crime video that we did, the Manson video. So if you missed the first two parts of the list, you want to make sure you watch those before you continue with this one. Okay? So, this next part is the Grim Sleeper who goes undetected for over 20 years. Lonnie Franklin Jr., whom the Los Angeles press dubbed the Grim Sleeper due to his apparent period of dormancy, dormancy in the 90s, may have taken the lives of as many as 25 women. Preying on individuals like sex workers, drug addicts, and the homeless, Franklin carried out his offenses in the 80s, cent South Central LA, where critics believe the police were either woefully inept or willfully turning a, a blind eye. It wasn't until 2010 that DNA evidence finally connected Franklin to at least 10 victims. The catch of photos found in his home suggests that he could be responsible for many more. In 2016, Franklin Jr. was convicted on 10 counts and sentenced to death. He currently sits on death row in San Quentin State Prison. Chester Dwayne Turner continued as another man was convicted for his crimes. In the 80s and 90s, it was estimated that there were at least five serial killers active in South LA alone during that time period. So when a part-time janitor was convicted of three murders, similar crimes kept taking place. It didn't really raise any eyebrows. David Allen Jones, a mentally disabled man who was coerced into a confession, was convicted of three homicides in 1995. The victims, all women, were found strangled and assaulted, a similar MO that continued to appear throughout the mid-90s in South LA. DNA evidence would eventually free Jones and indict Chester Dwayne Turner, aka the South Side Slayer, a homeless man who took the lives of at least 11 women, making him one of the most prolific predators in LA history. Turner ended at least five more women while Jones was wrongly incarcerated. In 2003, after a sexual assault arrest, Turner was finally linked to the nine victims, while suspected in two other cases. In 2014, he was convicted of additional four capital counts, and he received the death penalty. Kay Stainer So Kay Stainer, a serial killer who preyed on visitors to Yosemite National Park, was a product of a uniquely tragic background. In 72, Stainer's brother Stephen, who was then seven years old, was taken by child predator Kenneth Parnell. After seven years, Stephen managed to escape captivity and reunite with his family before tragically dying in a motorcycle accident at the age of 24. Stainer would later cite these traumatic childhood events as playing a role in his development as a Yosemite killer. In February of 1999, Stainer ended 42-year-old Carol Sund, along with her 15-year-old daughter, Julie, and Julie's 16-year-old friend, Silvina Peloso. The three were brutally assaulted in their hotel room near Yosemite. Stainer had worked as a handyman at the facility. Five months later, Stainer removed the head of a park tour guide, Joy Ruth Armstrong, and eyewitnesses led authorities to his capture. He was convicted in 2001 and sentenced to death. Wayne Adam Ford. So Wayne, Wayne Adam Ford, a long haul trucker from Southern California, walked into the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office in Eureka in November of 1998 with the horrifying object of a person, a woman's severed breast in a Ziploc bag. Ford would go on to confess to the sightings of four women, three sex workers, and one hitchhiker between the years of 97 and 98. While on the road, Ford would end the lives of his victims and then dismember them before dumping their remains in bodies of water. He currently sits on death row in San Quentin State Prison. That is the end of the list. Now, there is a few that are on this list that I've already talked about in previous videos. So, I did not get to mention them. But, as for the rest of it, that is the end. I hope you guys found this list to be as creepy as I did. So this is the final part. If you missed the other two parts, make sure you check them out. I'm going to link them at the end of the video. And I will see you on the next video. Bye!